What's up YouTube? This is Silverbender188 with a Minecraft tutorial here. And in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a very cool mod. It's called the GLSL Shader or something along that. And what it does is it basically adds better shading and it just renders Minecraft in a very better way. It gives a uh, field of view and all kinds of possibilities. Um, but enough talking, let me go ahead and get right into here and show you what the final result uh, will look like. So if you see, if I look something close, something off in the distance would be blurred. And if I look to something far away, close items will also be blurred. That's called field of view. Now if you notice, uh, it's kind of hard to tell right now. Um, if you notice, my guy will have a shadow. And as you see, it's somewhat constantly moving. Um, I, my, my game is in a bad time of day for this work, but if you notice, shadow's going along my back. Uh, let's say I walk under a tree. The shadow is as though I were actually below a tree would appear. And if I kind of let the day go, and as you see, my shadow is moving due to where the sun is. Oh, wow. Just connected to the internet, so it just updated my skin. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you go and look towards... Uh, where opposite where the shadow is or the sun is see how it's up there it will uh start casting a shadow for the land based on uh you know where the sun is and some unrendered land over there there we go um i mean this is just some of the possibilities at the end of this tutorial i'm actually going to show you a really cool version of this mod um someone's added their own version of the gl well it uses the gl sl shader and it really it really enhances it in my opinion. I mean, there's all kinds of shaders possibilities with this. You just have to know where to look. All right, so let's get started. I'll have a link to all these files in, in the description, but you're first gonna need shaders-windows, which is the original shaders mod. Uh, first of all, you're gonna need the Optifine, and if you're running uh, Minecraft 1.1, you're gonna need to get the 1.1 HD underscore A preview, which again, I will leave a tutorial or a uh, link to in the description that's the mod that you need first of all and this is the special mod uh, required to get that this super special type of shading and keep in mind that your graphics card has to be compatible um, I mean this shader right here this mod it uses tons of my memory I mean I'm not sure for all those computer savvy people out there I run a yeah I know it's running slow um, I run a Intel Pentium uh, Core i7 Duo or V Pro or something like that, and I my graphics card is an ATI Radeon 6350, I believe. Would you shut the fuck up? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get uh, started. First of all, you're gonna want to make sure you have a fresh version of Minecraft. You can try it with mods, but I would just be safe and run a fresh version. So it's gonna go ahead and download. Do 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 do. Oh. Hmm. Ugh, my internet is taking forever to download it. There we go. You almost done? Thank you. All right. Once it's updated, or uh, yeah, forced updated, make sure it's back to 1.1. Go ahead and go to your app folder, which you can get to by going to run, type in percent, app data, percent, it'll take you here. Go ahead and click on your Minecraft, go to your bin, and then right click on your Minecraft.jar, open with WinRAR. If you don't know how to get WinRAR, I am seriously disappointed. <laughs> it's pretty simple, just download, just Google download WinRAR. I'm going to actually move those up here. Next, you're going to want to go to, make sure you delete meta.inf, that's key. Alright, now you're going to go open your Optifine, and just throw it in there, just like you would install any other mod. And by the way, mod loader is not required for this, just letting you know. Obviously, since we force updated. Um, Alright, after that, you're done for right now with uh, Minecraft.jar. Next, you're going to want to open shaders-windows. 
or whatever system you're running. You're going to want to hit installer exe if you have a 7 or Vista, you're going to want to right click and run as administrator just to be safe. And it should say shaders by Dax Nitro. And it'll say what version it is for what version of Minecraft. We're working on 1.10. Um, and it says it enables the use of GLSL shaders during gameplay. That's what we want. Just go ahead and click install mods. And once it says inst installation complete, you can go ahead and exit. Now we could stop right here, but the only problem is with just the GLSL shader mod, you're just going to get the depth of view. Uh, I'll go ahead and log in and show you. Load up my world. If you notice, I no longer have my shadow. These don't provide very good well, shadowing based on the sun's position. But what it does provide is the depth of view. So, in order to get a special type of shadowing, the one I had, you're going to want to go back into shaders, dash, windows, shaders, mods. Uh, hmm. Why is it not appearing? Unless I... I should ha still have the RAR. There we go. I'm just going to unpack the RAR again. Or the zip. Install. And it should. There we go. Within your mods, there should be a folder called shaders. Go ahead, delete. Get that out of here. And alternative shaders. Click that and you'll see these folders. And if you click on, let's say, shadows, it says Optifine required. You're going to get a bunch of these files. Now what you actually do with those files is again, we're going to go to run, go to percent app data, minecraft, bin, then your minecraft.jar. Open with WinRAR. Now if you notice, now in here there will be a folder called shaders. If you left click on that, if you actually look, you'll actually see a mirror of files. So if you wanted to enable shadows like I had, you just copy those, or you just select them, and move them right in here, and replace them. Now if we exit, reopen up Minecraft, get in, you'll see that my shadows are not there. Why are my shadows not there? Oh, I am so confused. Well, it's, it's partially there. It's probably because of cloud or something. I know I have sh uh, cl shadows to, or clouds turned off, but... Hmm. This is very strange. I don't know why there's shadows every... Oh! Because when you install Optifine, you get extra video settings. I know why it's not working. And you want to go to Details. Turn Sky off. Because if you don't turn Sky off, what it does is, from the sun, in the Sky Block, the 256, the thing that prevents you from building up uh, that's technically the sky well that's how I view it and um, that is able to produce a shadow and that's why we're not seeing anything if you go back to done back uh, hmm. still doing it let's see I like to turn down the smooth lighting. Let's the sky is off. Clouds off. Hmm. Oh. Uh, also you need to turn on smooth FPS. Um it'll just help it run faster, just let you know. Uh, I turn weather off. And... Hmm. I honestly do not know why it's not working. Shaders, mods, shaders. Oh. Hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure it's actually a different version, but 
all you should do to fix it is if you go into Seuss shaders you'll see the same type of thing just go back and do it again um, I'm not too sure honestly why the shadows weren't working so open minecraft a jar oh whoops I need that uh, go into shaders copy everything into there and let's reopen minecraft and it's probably gonna be really laggy considering the settings that Su the Seuss shaders has okay oh yeah there we go as if you notice the sun actually becomes brighter uh, there's a motion blur whenever you turn around and look and as you see <gasps> shadows even grass has them you have them this is probably the best quality of the sh of the shaders or the shadows I mean for God's sakes it almost looks like it's running in blender <laughs> um, so that's how you install that and that's probably the best one but keep in mind if you don't have a good running computer uh, it's gonna cause major lag and even right now I am just getting serious lag um so yeah that's pretty much how you install the uh, GLSL shaders how do you, how do you get that main look because I know if you go to the GLSL shaders page and you install the mod you obviously don't get what that picture describes like there's a there's literally a picture that shows this yet I had to do so much looking around just to find out how to make it look just like that uh, image did so you know what I'll, I'll just provide all you need to know is okay I'll I'll go through it one last time on how you set it all up if you want that look because that look is probably the one most people are gonna want you're gonna install Optifine like you would any mod if you have version 1.1 Minecraft, you want to use 1.1 HD underscore A. Uh, that's the only one available for 1.1 right now. Um, then you want to go to Shaders Windows, Shaders, and Installer. But it, if you have a different OS other than Windows, you're just going to want to run the dot .jar. That's all. That's the only difference between Shaders Windows and Shaders for any other. Is that you just have to run the nitros.jar. Then after that, skip doing the whole shader thing like I did. Go to Seuss Shaders only 1.1.02. 1. 1. I'll, I'll provide a download link for it. And copy all of this. You know, I actually, I have it saved right here. I have data Minecraft bin. Copy, excuse me, copy that into WinRAR, uh, not WinRAR. <laughs> uh, copy that into your Minecraft.jar shaders folder. Because this is where all the magic happens about your, uh, about the shaders. I mean, you just have to look around you can find all kinds of mods using the GLSL shader um like I know someone was able to create like a tune world effect where everything has like that heavy dark black outline um uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way to mod the Seuss shader to not have that massive blur and just the shadow you just gotta know how to edit it because if you go into dot, dot fsh I know it just looks like a bunch of text right now but if you actually start reading it you can actually find like here it says shadow res so and that's uh, shadow length of distance I believe is what that is the shadow I have no no idea what in the hell that is end of adjustable variables I oh that's where you, far as you can adjust I guess um, um that's how you obviously increase and decrease the quality I wouldn't recommend going over 4096 as you saw that was running pretty bad length of distance is what makes the shadow go whew, how it flies away from the land that's what that's from um but yeah that's pretty much it for the GSL uh, SL shader and I guess that's it for this tutorial uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe comment and I'll see you in my next video